Hi, my name is Carol Hicks, and this is my son, Alex Hicks, and we attend Pleasant Hill Baptist Church, and this week's ministry moment focuses on disability ministries and just the need for them in our churches. Um, face it, you know, when Alex was little, trying to get to church was often difficult. Um, Alex... It was hard getting him ready in the mornings and trying to make it to church. And then he couldn't sit there for long periods of time. And oftentimes we had to take him out of the service. Um, he would cry. And we even had people in the church say um, they have to go in a bubble because we distracted them. And, uh, you know, I never, never want to um, cause a distraction for someone else getting the Word of God. And that's a lot of things that we face when we have children with disabilities. They don't fit in the church mold of attending and sitting there quietly and sitting there for at least an hour or more. And so church was difficult. And there were many times uh, when Alex was young that my husband and I would go take turns and sit out in the parking lot um, just because we didn't want to distract people from, you know, the Word of God, and that's important. And in those moments, sitting there in the car, the devil would whisper, why are you here? You know, you're just sitting out in the parking lot. What are you getting out of this service? You can be at home, and you can um, read your Bible at home. You don't need church. And I'm so thankful that my husband said, no, we're going to go to church. Church is important. And uh, it was through that process that our faith really began to grow. Um, and we wanted to make that accessible for all families. Life is hard. Divorce rate is higher in families when you have individuals, loved ones with disabilities. There's a lot of stress on the family. So anytime that churches can open their doors to be a more inclusive church to welcome all individuals regardless of disabilities and love on them you know that's showing God's love and we take the Great Commission very seriously where um, Jesus says to go out therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit you know that's for everyone regardless of the abilities or disabilities that you have. Everyone needs to hear the gospel, the good news. You know, it was in those quiet moments um, of stress at home where I ran to God's word and I would read scriptures that God has a plan for Alex and his plan is for good and that Alex is fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, he may not be able to speak clearly he may not be able to read and write, but let me tell you what he can do. This little guy right here has taught me to be a better prayer warrior. He's an intercessor. It started in the middle of the night, sometimes two and three o'clock in the morning. God gave this young man super, super sensitive hearing. He would hear the ambulance sirens and he would come into our room, wake us up and say, mom, dad, pray, pray, siren. And so for many years, that's whenever he heard that siren, you know, he wanted to pray. And then it began mm. to, if he saw an ambulance or if he saw a police officer, then he wanted to pray for them on the road. And then if he knew someone was hurting, he wanted to pray for them. He'd come and ask us to pray. And uh, if there's a need in our church, he wants to pray. He is a prayer warrior. He has taught me how to be a better <laughs> prayer warrior and you know his heart oh my goodness he's got a heart of gold and we miss opportunities as a church if we don't welcome everyone in and just love on them and share Jesus with them in fact in Luke 14 it says go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind Everyone, everyone needs to hear the Word of God. And to start a disability ministry at your church, um, you don't need a lot of money. Um, 
you may need some basic supplies, but you probably already have all that you need. Uh, you don't need a lot of space. I'm going to talk to you um, and give you some ideas for ways that you can incorporate disability ministry right into your church. Um, volunteers. You know, I know a lot of churches are hurting for volunteers, but if they see the need and um, that uh, a volunteer can come alongside of an individual, um, you know, what a ministry. And then you don't need a new curriculum. Oftentimes churches say, well, we'll have to get a whole new curriculum. No, you can modify any curriculum that you already have. It just um, takes a little bit of creativity. Um, and then, of course, just everyone deserves to hear the Word of God. And it's just a ministry opportunity here in Burke County with North Liberty and a lot of families within our school systems that need the support and the love of church because life is hard and life is even harder for uh, these families. And so I want to leave you with just um, a place that you can get started. I do know that in the Catawba River Baptist Association, Robbie has always been willing to help. Um, in fact, we hosted uh, Johnny and Friends. Uh, this is the organization that Johnny Erickson Tata created, and we have a Johnny and Friends right in Charlotte, and they've come to Burke County, and they've done training, free training for churches. We just pay for his gas to come up. They also have free resources. Uh, you can download any of the Kindle books for free. The one that I would recommend to get started with Again, this is free. Now, I've got a paper copy. You have to pay for the paper copy. But if you want to just start with a free copy, this is right off the website. You can download it from Johnny and Friends about the Irresistible Church. This is Start With Hello. So if you don't know how to even begin, where to start, you know, start there. Johnny and Friends has a lot of great resources. And there's a lot of resources right here in the county. Uh, Pleasant Hill Baptist Church, you can contact me, Carol Hicks, and there's other churches in our organization that has also um, has a disability ministry. Uh, I know Burtmont Baptist, they have the Joy Club, they would be more than willing to help. And then you've got Summit, they have a disability ministry as well. And, you know, I do know that um, the Cowboy Church, Doug Goforth, he has offered to help provide a family day for um, those with disabilities and their families, as well as South Mountain Baptist Camp. How many years Alex has gone uh, because he loves it so much, they let us drive up those hills instead of him having to walk because you know, he couldn't, his little knees wouldn't allow him. Um, so there are resources right here in our county that I know that um, everyone would be more than willing to share. And if you let Robbie know, he can put you in contact with the resources and the North Carolina Baptist Association. They have um, grant opportunities. If this is a ministry that's on your heart, you can look at their grant opportunities. And Johnny and Friends also has a um, grant opportunity coming up. In fact, um, I believe their next opening is in February. So a lot of resources, and you're not alone. They're um, willing to help and do whatever you know, we need to do to help churches mm -hmm. succeed with disability ministries. Mm -hmm. But something just to think and pray about, uh, a way of meeting um, needs right into your church. And again, I'll be talking more about some of the ways that you can incorporate different um, models of disability ministry and I look forward to sharing more with you. So thank you and have a blessed week.